everybody and welcome back for another VR review. Today we are taking a look at Ninja Legends. Ninja Legends is a wave-based melee fighting game with no locomotion options. This game is currently available in early access on Steam for all major VR headsets including Index, HTC, Rift, and Windows Mixed Reality. It currently has a launch sale price of $14.99 and its full retail price will be $19.99. You will battle across 18 different levels, collecting 5 different melee weapons and 5 different shinobi powers, and battling a large assortment of different enemies and 4 different bosses. Combat in this game is quite arcadey and is not overly strategic or realistic. Enemies can be slashed through like paper, spewing forth a stream of blood. Both the weapons and the power-ups you collect throughout the game are all quite different and have a pretty distinct feel to them. The four separate bosses you battle are also all quite unique. From a challenge standpoint, this game starts to get difficult on the default difficulty level of Ninja around level seven. There's not many real mechanics to this fighting game. Basically, you wanna make sure you are blocking on the correct angle, you are not getting surrounded, and you use your power-ups to the best of their ability. The boss battles may introduce a bit more dodging, but ultimately, this remains the same throughout the entire game. Even on the lowest difficulty level, it's unlikely you will make it through this game without failing multiple times, and occasionally some of the hits just feel a little bit cheap because you don't know how to properly block them or where they actually came from. Now at this point in time, I'm actually expecting a bit more from VR because there are previous games or current games that do a lot of aspects of this game much better. If you're looking for strategic combat with nice graphics and full locomotion options, well then you can pick up Swords of Gargantua at the same price. If you're just looking for some fun, visceral, gory combat, then you take Gorn. And if you're a fan of the blocking, dodging, counter-striking mechanics of this game, well then I would recommend Knockout League. While none of these games are a direct comparison to Ninja Legends, they all have similar components that are done better. That being said, I still enjoyed this game, I just think there's better options available. Some of the weapons really do shine, and I was a huge fan of the claws. But at the same time, everything is extremely weightless and arcadey. There's not much replayability here, and while there is a global leaderboard, you're not going to get the same recognition in being number one as you would in something like Beat Saber. So if you're just looking for some ninja slashing fun, sure, you'll enjoy this game, but don't expect too much from it. Now if you're on the fence about this title and you happen to be a Viveport subscription service member, wait until August, this game is coming to Viveport. I'm just not sure if it'll be available as a subscription service game. Okay everybody, as usual, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, don't forget to go ahead and give it a thumbs up, maybe leave a comment, subscribe, and I will check you guys out next time.